Daddy, be quiet. Like we're in for a storm tonight, huh, Katie? Well, are you gonna go outside or not? to sunny Mexico, home to the anomalous biological entity, El Chupacabra, to his friends. And he gets around. Chupacabra sightings have been reported throughout Central America and Puerto Rico for decades. But in the last couple of years, he's been on the move. Sightings have been reported in Texas, Florida, California, New Mexico, and even New Jersey. Here are a few examples of the Chupa's handiwork. <laughs> or not. The name chupacabra comes from two Spanish words, chupa, which means sucker, and cabra, which is the word for goat. He was christened goat sucker because the first official sighting was made by a goat herder in Guatemala. Mr. Chupa ate his livelihood. What did he see? Unfortunately, the chupacabra has evaded photographers. Although this has been used as grounds to deny his existence, it actually proves nothing. We have no conclusive photos of Bigfoot, and we know he's real. However, we do have sketches made by eyewitnesses. Now, there is some discrepancies in these descriptions. For instance, this drawing has wings. Most descriptions are wingless. Why can't they agree? We don't know. Probably a combination of darkness, chupa sightings occur at night, fear, and confusion. But there are more than enough similarities for honest seekers like you and me. He stands three and a half to four and a half feet tall. He has a long prehensile tail, a bat-shaped face with large eyes and fangs. Is he from this planet or from a galaxy far, far away? We don't know yet. But read the details in my latest book, They Feed in Secret. And you decide. It's on sale in the lobby. I'll be there too, if the men in black don't come for me. Thank you, and look to the skies. Who are the men in black? The men in black 
are a supposedly super secret group from the government that disappears anyone who talks about UFOs or other supposedly unexplainable phenomena. People like me. <laughs> Aren't you afraid? You moron, you're embarrassing me. This is fucking Seth Corrales. I'm not afraid because there are no men in black. If there were, they would have come for me long ago. Yeah, but you said they were like super secret. Darling, if anything were that secret, I'd know about it. Mr. Corrales, I've read all your books. I know about the men in black. Excellent. Thrilled to meet you. Remember, knowledge is power. Ignorance is Armageddon. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Mr. Corrales, someone outside would like to speak with you. Would you come with me, please? The men in black. I know why you're here. You do? Yes, sir. And you don't have nothing to worry about. Nobody believes what I say anyway. It's as if I never said anything. I'm sorry? I'll stop. You won't have to disappear me. Mr. Corrales, nobody is going to disappear you. I'm here because I need your input on something. I was hoping you could authenticate some photographs for me. Is this a test? Okay. These are obviously chupacabra attacks. I've seen these pictures before. You have? You're sure? Please, as if everyone hasn't seen these before. This is one of the first documented chupa attacks. Guatemala. Goats. Here. Base of the Andes. Uh, Peru, 1975. Man made a mold of the chupa's footprint after this one. Later proved to be a fake, but the attack was real enough. Not bad. And the third one? I knew this was a test. I'm sure this would be harder for most people, but the trees in the background and the, sh and the color of the sky give it away. Las Playas, Argentina, June 82. Akron, Ohio, three days ago. Now, we're hoping to capture this one. And since you know more about these animals than anyone else, we're also hoping to count on your participation. Good. Now, you'll be going away for a couple of weeks. One of my men will help you pack. And there's one more thing, and this is very important. Nobody knows about this. Not even you. Understand? I know. It's a secret. You have nothing to worry about. Secrets are my life. Bill, now, God damn it! I am a scientist. I am not a field agent. I don't want to have anything to do no, with this. Is... Captain Lawrence. You wanted to see me, sir? Captain Lawrence, please. Captain Roger Lawrence, Dr. Simon Westlake. Captain. Doctor. Dr. Westlake is a biologist and cryptozoologist for the Bureau. Captain Lawrence made something of a name for himself in the Persian Gulf. Uh, I'm a little confused. Uh, I... Indulge me for a minute, Captain. Captain Lawrence, are you familiar with the term El Chupacabra? No. Should I be? It's Spanish. It means the goat sucker. And you're telling me this because... El Chupacabra has become a large part of Latin American folklore. Much the same as Bigfoot is part of our own. Sir, just what the hell does this have to do with me? We want you to catch one. <sighs> Dr. Westlake and I have become entangled in a very delicate situation. We need your help. El Chupacabra is no longer just a foreign myth. In the past few years, there have been a number of sightings here. The most recent one was a few days ago in Ohio. All due respect. It sounds like a lot of horseshit. I couldn't agree more. However, the president is very interested in this sort of thing. Now, he's heard of the recent sightings, and he would like to see a chupacabra for himself. 
Now, apparently, the situation in Ohio is ideal for capturing one of these things, if they exist. Doctor? All reported Chupa sightings take place near but not in cities. They go on for three or four weeks, and then they stop. Nobody knows why. But theory has it that Chupa fears men. The closer the cities, the more people. That's what makes Ohio different. What, they don't have cities in Ohio? No. As a matter of fact, just the opposite is true. The red X indicates the location of the most recent Chupacabra sighting. The Colga Valley National Park, a 67-mile stretch of woodland surrounded by populated areas. So, if theory is indeed fact, the Chupa has nowhere to run. Which brings us to you. Uh, we've assembled a special task force civilian, military, and bureau personnel to catch a chupacabra. We need someone to keep them in line. And I mentioned the word delicate earlier. Well, the abridged version is Congress doesn't know anything about this. If we succeed, they look the other way. If we fail, they eat our lunch, read scandal, budget problems. Not to mention that we look like idiots. So. As far as anyone knows, this task force doesn't exist. You don't wear uniforms, you don't mix with the locals. To all intents and purposes, your team is on their own. You talk to me, only to me. And if it gets hot, you don't even talk to me. For one month, then you walk away. Westlake goes with you. Anything else you need to know is in those files. Listen, I'm a Marine. I'm, I'm really not interested in babysitting your task force. If it's all the same to you, I just assume you find somebody else. Would you excuse us for a minute, Doctor? Captain. Now it's your turn to listen. I'm surprised you're still a Marine after the way you handled your last assignment. I've spoken to your superiors. You're just hanging on by a thread. My task force is the only chance you've got. Now, you read those files on the plane in the morning and play by the numbers, or I will bury you. You've got to be Dr. Corrales. Seth, please. So, where's the war room? Help Seth find Dr. Westlake. He'll help you get squared away. Captain Lawrence. If you'll excuse me. Captain Lawrence, Agent Frank Roundtree. Thought I should introduce myself since I'm not on your list. Greer sent me to keep an eye on the kids. Uh, but I'm just here to help. It's still your show. The kids? They are on your list. A couple of very promising recent Quantico graduates. This is Angela Beach. She's your communications expert. Skip Stefani here specializes in electronic surveillance. He'll also be recording everything. Welcome to my nightmare. Mr. Corrales is all situated, sir. Good. So I take it you found Dr. Westlake? He's in the kitchen, sir. Help these people get their gear inside. We'll get together after lunch and sort this out. Good morning. Private Andrew Johansson. I'll help you get settled in. Frank Roundtree, FBI. Angela Beach. Private Johansson? You're not in uniform. No, ma'am. Uh, we're being covert. Oh, is that like undercover? Skip Stefani, videographer. And, uh, yeah. here's the bags. Excuse me. I'll give you a hand. What? He wanted to help. Oh, 
Captain Lawrence. Could you have Private Johansson drill out these drainage holes that I've marked on this table? Are there any other nasty little surprises that you and Greer have neglected to tell me about? Well, you've been fully briefed. The hell I have. I would have noticed that my communications person and my surveillance expert were school children. You have their qualifications. They did well in school. They have no field experience. Well, that's why they're here, to gain field experience. Now, you yourself said that this was a horseshit assignment. What better place? You're right. I'd just like to see the next one coming. Since I'm the head mahout and all. Filthy little pigs. No respect for nature. Animal sluts. I like to be there when you throw the next one. Fuckers! You out there! You little shit! It's not just a flashlight. It's a lie! Okay, so that's the story. Now, I don't know if any of you believe in this chupacabra thing, and frankly, I don't really care. I appreciate your candor. I think skepticism is good. I think that it gets us past all this BS that usually surrounds scientific endeavors of this kind. Dr. Corrales. Call me Seth. Dr. Corrales. It's all BS as far as I'm concerned. There is no El Chupacabra. I'm afraid I'll have to take exception to that point of view. If you'll permit me, I have literally hundreds of documents and photographs that prove the Chupacabra's existence. Can we move ahead? I don't think this is very productive. I disagree. I think we should get all this shit out in the open right now. Dr. Corrales, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I've read the files, and frankly, I don't think these photographs prove anything. I see. I grew up on a farm. I've seen what happens when wild dogs attack livestock. But it says here that there isn't any blood. There isn't any blood at the site we're investigating. How do you explain that? I can't. Maybe the FBI screwed up. Maybe wild dogs drank it. Maybe it rained. Hopefully, our latest team member can explain it. <clears throat> Dr. Westlake, fill him in, please. You find everything? Yes, sir. Dr. Samantha Enright will be rounding out our ensemble. For those of you who don't know, Dr. Enright is an anthropologist and an animal behaviorist. She spoke at one of my classes. Doesn't she study how animals react around people? Uh, specifically, her research deals with changes in animal evolution, primary behavior, and instinctual responses. She can tell us if this is some kind of wild animal. I never implied the chupacabra wasn't a wild animal. She'll be arriving. It's just not a dog. Thank you for clarifying. Thanks, Doc. I only need a few more things. First, I need car keys from Dr. Corrales and Dr. Westlake and truck keys from Agent Roundtree. What are you... Mr. Getting? Stefani, I'd like you to tear some pages out of your little notebook there and pass them around. You can share some pencils. Keys, gentlemen, it wasn't a request. Uh, Captain Lawrence, In I... a minute. The papers Mr. Stefani is giving to you are for uh, you to make an inventory. I want a list of all the personal items you brought with you. Thank you. I don't give a shit about underwear and socks. What I do care about are cell phones, weapons, beepers, laptops, radios, personal cameras and tape recorders, and postage stamps. Why? Because for the next five weeks, this little Shangri-La is the only place on Earth. No malls, no movies, no grocery stores, no phone calls, no letters home. None of us will have any contact with the outside world. There is only here. The sooner you all get used to that, the better. I'm sorry about that. I know it's a pain in the ass. I'm also sorry that none of you were told, but there it is. What's going on, Skip? Government bullshit, Ms. Beach, plain and simple. I don't like it any better than you do. But those are my orders. Speaking of which, I'm still waiting for a set of truck keys. Is there uh, anything else you need me to help you with, Angela? Uh, you can stay and talk to me while I'm home. 
I used to watch a lot of scary movies, you know. The kids are in a cabin, in the woods. You mean like, um, Friday the 13th? Yeah. I used to think they were a kick. Good date movies. Till later, I'd get nightmares. Will you protect me? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'll keep all the bad guys away. Even the ones in the woods? Especially the ones in the woods. Hope you're not decent! Oh, hi. Dude, what is with your boss? I have to wake up at 6 a.m. to start setting up the cameras and shit. It's not gonna kill you. We all have set up assignments. I have to get the comm center ready. Plug in a wire, unfold a chair. Big deal. You even get help. Yeah, the flying saucer weirdo. Seth is cool. Besides, that's not the point. It normally takes a crew two to three days to set up a perimeter surveillance fence. I get a day and a half plus lunch cleanup. I'm sure Andy would help you if you asked him, wouldn't you? Yeah, sure, I'd help if you asked me. I, I don't need help. I just think it's unfair, you know? Look, I'm gonna get out of here. It was nice talking with you, Angela. Yeah, maybe we can do it again sometime. I hope so. See you, Chip. Skip! Is he gay? He looks like somebody who's gay. You look really good in that top, you know? You can be such an asshole sometimes. I'm going to bed now. You sure you don't want me to stay a while? I, I could protect you from the boogeyman. Just go away. Case number 8828, Dr. Laura Coates. Subject, C.L. Jennings, male, Caucasian, about 35 years old. Mr. Jennings was obviously attacked by some sort of animal. Besides the lacerated throat, there are three small puncture wounds below and to the left of the sternum. These appear to be post-mortem Origin unknown. He suffered a severe loss of blood, but only trace amounts were found at the scene. The larynx and the jugular vein have either been removed or damaged beyond recognition. Opening the abdominal cavity now. Oh, oh God. Morning, Dr. Enright. Morning. What the hell did I get dragged into? Uh, first, let me explain a couple of things. Our jobs are a lot the same, but they're different. You monitor, I log in and out of places to get information. Yes and no. We're on a special system, kind of like a firewall. Do you know what that is? We can get out, but they can't get in. Sort of like a one-way modem. Uh, basically. We're patched into Quantico's computer center. They see anything we find first. Plus, they process any bureau information that might have to do with us and send it along once they've checked it. Of course, so when I'm on the net, they see it too. What about when I send somebody email? You don't send anyone email. I mean, if I have to send somebody, if I have to contact somebody for information, if, if I can't find it on public access. You don't send. Period. Only I consent. But they don't know you. You give it to me. I show it to Captain Lawrence. He says, okay. I get the picture. Espionage meets bureaucracy. Spy versus spy. Who spies on you? Quantico. 
They see everything before I do. If you email me, they see it first. And decides if you should see it. Uh, who watches them? The CIA? Usually. That's one of the reasons why I joined the FBI. I always did like that whole spying thing. Um, I need a little bit more slack here. Thanks. So, you're some sort of animal expert, huh? And you put television cameras in coffee cans. Cool, huh? You see, the can here, it keeps them dry and out of the sun. The little ridges along the edges here keep all the critters out. So, what kind of animals are you an expert in? None specifically. I actually study how people change animals. Mutations? You think this thing here is a mutant? Cool. No. I try and understand why animals change their behavior when people are around. I guess I'm here to figure out what it's going to do next. So you're more like an animal detective then? Ace Enright, pet detective. <laughs> why not? We need outside help. No. Please close the door. And sit down, please. You have to listen to me. Not until you sit down. Thank you. Now, please explain to me why anything that's a little out of the ordinary sends you screaming for the FBI. This is more than a little out of the ordinary. It's an animal killing. Brutal, I'll grant you. But these things happen. They don't. Not like this. I've never seen anything like this. There are many things that you've never seen. Now, two in as many weeks. I know where this is going. The FBI has an extensive library of serial homicide evidence. All I want is an official okay. I want to see if this matches anything they've run across. Now, this is ludicrous. And see if they can identify the enzyme I found. Our lab can't. Stop. You told me a week ago. I was wrong a week ago. Well, what if you're wrong now? I'm not going to tell people we have a serial killer because some asshole downstairs can't tell saliva from Shinola. No. My God, this is an election year. Or have you forgotten? I'm not going to ruin my reputation because you think, oh, I don't need this shit. Look, it's simple. Coroner, assistant coroner. Coroner, no. You got the equation. Skip. Okay, but I'll give even money. This turns out to be dog hair. No discernible footprints. No traces of blood or anything else strange. What's the weather been like the last couple of weeks? Like now, cold, a lot of rain. That explains that. How did one ever get through the fence? Nobody thought of that during the investigation? Great. What was your name again? Private Andrew Johansson, ma'am. Okay, Andy, I need you to do me a favor. There's a can of spray paint in this cooler. I need you to walk along the inside of this fence and look for entry routes. Ma'am? Not ma'am. Entry routes. You know, looks like something dug under the fence or maybe broke through. Anything that doesn't look like a normal, healthy fence, spray paint a big X. Okay, let's go see the animals. That could be a little difficult. They were destroyed. Oh, then it's good we brought all my stuff. Skip, go with Johansson. Look, chupacabra or no, the Center for Disease Control frowns on a field full of dead, rotting sheep. The FBI took photos and a specimen to study later. Now we're getting somewhere. Which was destroyed when the lab was finished with it. I can try to get you a copy of the file. Why the hell am I here? I'm sorry if your feathers are ruffled. Join the club. The FBI doesn't usually investigate dead sheep. Somebody called somebody and here we are. And here I am. Dr. Enright, Agent Roundtree. Agent Roundtree, Dr. Enright.
Whatever got in here was either heavy or strong. Maybe both. I want pictures of this whole area. Nobody checked the fence. Right, it wasn't a real investigation. This is so great. The internet just gets better and better every day. That's wonderful, Seth. Oh, so many options, I don't know where to start. How about you, find anything useful? No, nothing at all. Just like the last 5,000 times you asked. I'm gonna go get some tea. Maybe when I come back we could trade for a while? I won't tell. Oh, man. Find anything exciting? I probably will tomorrow, though. If Brown lives that long. What happened? Dr. Enright happened. Oh, my God. She was awesome. I really thought she was going to kick his ass. Roundtree's guys really fucked up that investigation. And she knew it. She'd make some snotty comment, and he'd get all red in the face. And then he'd come up to me and say, Skip, you and Andy go check that fence out over there. Sometimes I'm right. He was always such a prick in evidence class. I'm telling you, it was extreme. They're meeting with Lawrence right now, which is why I'm in here. Why did we even go out there? We've been through this. Yeah, and I still don't have any answers. One minute I'm packing to study hyenas in Kenya, the next, my funding is gone, and I'm stuck in a field with you. I've been trying to explain. I'm not one of your flunkies. I don't have time for excuses. Am I going to have to separate you two? Why am I here? And please don't give me that chupacabra shit. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. That's what she said, word for word. Agent Roundtree doesn't seem the type to take that in stride. No, really? <laughs> I'm going to go get something to drink. Maybe see if I can hear something. He is driving me nuts. I can't do this for four weeks. Who, Seth? I understand your frustration, but that doesn't explain why you didn't try to pick up some sort of a trail. Perhaps Agent Roundtree couldn't find the forest for the trees. She made me come back early. She made you? In more ways than one, apparently. You son of a bitch! Step away. Simon, you back off too. Okay, Doc. Civilly. Why'd you come back early? We don't know what's out there, and we weren't properly armed. Johansson had a gun. Agent Roundtree has too. Look, I don't know what Agent Roundtree thinks he's gonna find, this is probably a rabid dog or a bear. Either way, sidearms aren't going to cut it. I brought a rifle, a hunting rifle. I'd like to have it back. I'm sorry your day wasn't as good as mine. Thanks. I'm sure he just takes some getting used to. I just wish he wasn't so damn cheerful all the time. <laughs> You'll get used to him. Um, a Angela. Um, we, we've known each other for, uh, for a little while now, uh -huh. and, um, I, I was, I was kind of wondering if maybe what, when this whole thing is over, if maybe you Excuse and I me. could... Um, oh, Skip, I'm sorry. I promise I'll talk to you later, okay? I promise. Now that that's settled, I've got a couple of things to say. First, I don't know what the two of you are used to, but here's what you're going to get used to. If there's a problem, come to me. I'm not going to have either of you running around acting like fucking five-year-olds. Captain Lawrence, sir? You never heard of knocking? I'm sorry, sir. I just, I think you need to see this. Excuse me? What the hell are you doing? Out! 
Miss Beach, I don't want your boyfriend in here anymore. What if that was classified? He's not my boyfriend, sir. This was sent when, and I'm just now finding out about it? We don't exactly get things as they happen, sir. Quantico. Forget it, forget it. Just give me an address on this coach person. Nobody reads anything from here unless I say so, understood? Yes. FBI, I'd like to ask you a few questions. She's some sort of assistant coroner or something. I'm sure you saw the transmission. Who did you send? Enright, Corrales, Roundtree, and the photographer kid. Is that all right with you? What's your tone, Captain? I just hope Agent Roundtree exercises the proper discretion. Gabriel, it's Bill Greer. Look, I've got a little bit of a situation. Maybe an animal did this, but I don't know. It's awfully clean. Do you mind? I know what you mean. At first, I thought it was an animal, too. But it doesn't add up. Dr. Coates, if you were expecting us at your office, how is it that these files are here? I made copies. My boss was afraid to contact you people. He's afraid of a panic. And where did these happen? Can I have picture number 11A? Both bodies were found inside the National Park. The first woman's house backs up to the park. Her body was found just beyond the backyard. He was on one of the hiking trails. Both people had the same wounds? For the most part, both had soup where the heart and lungs should have been. She didn't have any eyes. Both people had these wounds? Yeah, hers were a little smaller, and they weren't on her chest. Neck? Nape of the neck, yes. You got a picture? My boss does. I want to see it. I no longer have access to that file. Agent... Agent Roundtree! Mind if I use your phone? Jim. 55. It's going to be a long month. It will be if you keep playing like that. Where now the could they be? I said see her, not bring her. Do you know what I've been doing the last four hours? I'm sure you're going to tell us. I had to get her boss out of bed. I had to get hold of Greer at home. I had to get a court order. I had to get autopsy files, etc. So I thought it was better just to bring her here. You thought? Who the fuck are you? You in command now? Look, this is a bureau matter. I'm so sick of you people. Are, are you relieving me? Captain, this is... Very childish. Get on the phone and call your boss so I can go home. I'm sorry if I've offended you, but decisions had to be made that were beyond military jurisdiction. You're still in charge of this operation. Here. Frank. You got any special authority that I should know about? I didn't think so. A bureau matter. I have never cared for agents like you. No. I think Captain Lawrence has a right to know just how wrong you are. I'm sorry. Corrales, Seth, Said he saw chupacabra bite marks in the autopsy photos. Did.
What did Greer say? He says the autopsy business changes everything. Said he would probably want to call in a favor. Who? Gabriel Sinclair. Fucking <laughs> Greer. I talked to Corrales. He's sure. Dr. Corrales must be in heaven. So, who is Gabriel Sinclair? Yeah, I was wondering when we were going to get around to that one. Gabriel Sinclair is one of those people the Bureau denies working with. He's a psychic. No psychic. According to the files, he's the real deal, if you believe that sort of crap. <laughs> of course, I'm telling this to a man who's hunting chupacabras. <laughs> <laughs> I once worked on a case with Mr. Gabriel Sinclair. Murder case. He was very arrogant. Pushy. Came in, made his little song and dance, made a lucky guess. <sighs> made me feel pretty stupid. <laughs> I don't know how that goes. I thought that you might. Well, I couldn't sleep at all. I must have been through my books a dozen times. Those bite marks are undeniably chupacabra. You're sure it couldn't be something else? You asked me that last night, and I told you I was pretty sure, but that I would check. Well, I've checked a billion times. It's time to put all skepticism aside and embrace reality. Oh, please. You are not going to get all religious, are you? Well, there is one other explanation, but it's pretty ridiculous. Now you're going to tell us the ridiculous one? Worldwide conspiracy. Oh, <laughs> See? Ridiculous. But it's the only other logical explanation. Ipso facto, we have a chupacabra. Of course you have to catch it. Oh, no. You have to catch it. I just have to find it, which I did. Of course, there's one thing that still bothers me. There's no record of chupacabras attacking humans. Which this one obviously did. Right. Also, these are the biggest chupacabra bites I've ever seen. Significantly bigger. Morning. Back. Is everyone here? All except Westlake. I ran into him in the woods. He said he wanted some air. Well, that's just as well. He's already heard the news. We are adding yet another act to our little circus. A psychic. Gabriel Sinclair. Questions? Well, I probably couldn't answer him anyway. Personally, I can't wait to see what happens next. Come on, come on, focus, focus, stay there. Come on, son.
and when I, I, I can't, got there and there are all kinds of people standing around, and when I saw the record light on, I just assumed it was Skip, but I came and got you immediately. What was on the tape? I don't know. Play that part again. Stop. Can you freeze that image? Hmm. Yeah, give me a sec. Excuse me. I need Stefani and Enright. The rest of you, please wait outside. I think I should go outside. Okay, what is it? I can tell you what it's not. It's not native to this area. It's not a monkey, although it moves like one. It's the wrong build for an ape. I don't think it's a person. But you're not sure. Not without a better picture. Not with this equipment. Could this be the thing? Sure. Maybe. I don't know. Great. There's more. Show them, Skip. What am I looking at? Agent Roundtree. Apparently, he saw the first thing and went after it. And no one's seen him since. What? What do you mean? Well, he's not here. No good. Until we find them, we've only got three guns. You should have. Now, don't even start with me about that. This wasn't supposed to be a hunting trip. Captain Lawrence? Gabriel Sinclair. Captain Roger Lawrence, I don't suppose you brought a gun. Uh, no, I didn't. You were told about me, weren't you? Yeah, I know you are. Listen, I'm sorry to be so abrupt. We've got kind of a situation here. Get this organized, I'll get your rifle. Anything I can do to help? Stop asking questions. Johansson! I mean, is it? Oh, I don't know. Go see for yourself, but make it fast. Okay, everybody listen up. Our video cameras picked up something, and it looks like Roundtree went after it. And he didn't come back. And we're gonna find him. We'll split into two groups. He can't have gone far. The tape they recorded him was still tops. running. But Roundtree was a desk jockey. If he went out at night alone in the rain with all these rocks and ravines... <sighs> Idiot. Come on, Dr. Coates. Let's go assemble some rescue kits. It's been a long time. The angel Gabrielle has made a visitation. Stay out of my way. I noticed you in Westlake. Yeah, we're old friends. We're all a little jumpy. I told you I'd protect you. Yeah, from the boogeyman. From the boogie cabra. You are such a goo. You're such a tease. I'm not a tease.
Whoa, slow down. You got a train to catch or something? Sorry. Can I try again? What's that? You tell me. The psychic is in the other group? What is it? That's a copy of Roundtree's evaluation. Kind of makes me want to see yours. special that we should be looking for? Well, chupacabras are nocturnal, so we should keep an eye out for a cave or lots of shade. <laughs> I'm just curious, but how does one get to be an expert in something that no one's ever seen? Oh, people have seen it for hundreds of years. Ever heard of spring -heel Jack? Who's spring -heel Jack? Not who, what? Jack was a chupa-like creature seen on the outskirts of London about the time of Jack the Ripper. So what are you saying, that Jack the Ripper was a chupacabra? That's one theory. In fact, one of the Ripper's nicknames was spring -heel Jack. Others thought the creature was a kangaroo escaped from the zoo. Still others think he was a spaceman. A spaceman. That's what I think. <sighs> Definitely extraterrestrial. Down. Wait for the others, then we'll look. Roundtree! Agent Roundtree! Agent Roundtree! Stay in the clearing! Agent Roundtree! Roundtree! Agent Roundtree! Roundtree! Over here! The ground here is all torn up. Looks like there could have been some kind of a fight. And I've got what could be a, a path leading to this spot. Pretty good. You a hunter? <sighs> Forensic pathologist, same difference. But I don't have anything leading away from this spot. Unless something backtracked. Mm. Or flew away. Some chupacabras have wings. Seth showed me a picture. Let me see something. What are you doing? Please. Fucking cool. Excitement. Curiosity. Did you find him? A little song. A little dance. Makes no sense. How did she get... Wait. Something's wrong. What? He's taken by surprise. Fear. No terror. No. No, I don't want to. <sighs> I should have sold tickets. Oh, you're wasting your life. You should be on the stage. I'm not going to do this with you. Don't go away mad. I can't. None of this is helping us find Roundtree. Roundtree's dead. I think I know where the body might be. Unless, of course, you'd like to show us. Let's go. Well, 
shouldn't be too hard to get him down. But it definitely took some effort to get him up there. He can wait. What was that shit back there? I'm sensitive. I pick up on things. Emotions, strong feelings. Like your skepticism. Doesn't take a psychic to figure that out. I did find the man in the tree. You could have put him there. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. If I could do that, I'd kick the shit out of Westlake. <laughs> Truth. Let's get him down. Don't worry. Most people think the FBI setting them up. They aren't always. Private Johansson. As soon as you have a minute, we'll talk later, Ms. Beach. Um, they said you needed pictures of the autopsy. Sir, I I'm not ready for that. I'm sorry, sir. but I do. Get that door. Yes, I appreciate your position, but you sure as hell better start appreciating mine. Th this team you put together, they're not prepared for this. I got one dead already. Let me put you on hold a minute. No, don't you! Your life is over. You left your post and you disobeyed orders. Now, the only thing that's going to keep your ass from rotting in Leavenworth is if you fucking glow in the dark for the rest of this bullshit mission. Is that clear to you, Mr. Swingin' Dick? Yes, sir. Very clear. Good. I want to see that girl in here the minute I get off this phone. I get the fuck out of my sight. No, that would be perfect, sir. Exactly. Well, I appreciate it. I'll give your aide the details within an hour. At your disposal. Right. Right. Goodbye, sir. Sorry to keep you waiting, Captain. I've got good news. I can use some good news. Well, I had to call it a favor, but I think I can have you people out of there in five days. Five days is a long time without training or firepower. I want them gone tomorrow morning, at the latest. You haven't seen what this thing can do. It seems to me you're not a very grateful individual, Captain. I can't do it any sooner without attracting unwanted attention. But I can move the pick up to the middle of next month, if you like. We'll be ready to go in five days. Good. We won't speak again until you're here in my office. Don't call me, and don't let anyone else call me. Or it's your ass. Comprende? I understand, sir. I've got to warn you, it's been a number of years since I've done an autopsy. Just like riding a bicycle. Neck is definitely broken. <gasps> what happened? Vertebra sticking out the back of his neck. Oh, shit. Shit! Shit! Give me a scalp, quick! This is clean, isn't it? No. Oh, son of a bitch. Angela, I need a secure phone line. None of you has any experience dealing with extraterrestrials. I need a secure phone line. Look, Angela, I need a secure phone line. I suspect that someone on our team may not be whom he or she appears to be. Look, I need information and I can't get it on an unsecured line. 
I don't know who to trust. I don't know whom to trust. It's just that I don't know whom to trust. I've got a gun. If you don't give me that phone line, I'll, I'll, I'll what? Skip, I need a picture of the back of his neck. He has those marks, same as the others. I want a picture of that, too. Damn. Why don't you just let me do this? I'm all right. Just keep banging my stupid finger is all, as long as he doesn't test positive for AIDS. Let's just hurry up here. Skip, he won't bite. <sighs> oh, give me the damn. Laura. Slow down. Give us a minute, would you? Sure. I'll be outside. I know you're worried, but it doesn't do any good to get upset. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with Roundtree, other than the fact that he's dead. We'll just take this one step at a time. Why bother? You see the wounds. I've done two of these already. I already know what's inside. We'll open the chest cavity first. That's a pretty big favor. Are you sure you're sure? I was going to ask you even if I hadn't seen Lawrence, but that just confirmed my suspicions. What if someone finds out? How can they? We'll do it at night when everyone's asleep. It'll take 15 minutes, tops. Angela, our situation reeks of conspiracy. We need to know what's going on. How'd you know where to find him? Have you ever seen a movie that you knew, that you knew what would happen next? Yeah. What? So you just knew? Well, not exactly. It's more like I remembered. Like I experienced someone else's memory. So what killed him? I don't know. I don't want to piss you off, but I thought psychics were supposed to know. I'm not a psychic. I'm an empath. Give me your hand. What, are you going to read my fortune? Not exactly. Just don't do anything stupid. I'll do my best. You're here against your will. You think I'm a scam, but you're curious. And something else. Okay. All that from holding my hand? I usually need physical contact. But, but for some reason, a, a violent death energizes a place with emotions for hours, sometimes days. That's how I knew. Captain Lawrence wants to see everybody in the dining room. Not another meeting. Who knows with that guy? What about what killed him? It's weird. It, it's not like with a person. But it's not like with an animal, either. That doesn't leave us a whole lot of options. You said this would only take 15 minutes. Sorry, it took longer to locate him. It's almost done. You heard what Hold Lawrence said. Hold it right said. there. Now, can you show me Lawrence in that exact spot? Mm -hmm. If I've got it. 
Can you give them to me side by side on the same screen? Yeah, give me a minute. Seth! I heard you! Angela, you can't believe what Lawrence tells you. That printout is my proof, and we can't leave till it's finished. But this will all be over in five days. No, it won't. Think about it. Roundtree knew something. That's why he's dead. That's why Lawrence was searching his room. What did Roundtree know? I... Not sure. Look, that's why I contacted these guys. They monitor all extraterrestrial activity. If it's knowable, they know it. You think this is a UFO? Holy shit. That explains the size of the bites. It's bigger than Roundtree. And it's not a chupacabra. What is it? I think it's Captain Lawrence. to get me in trouble. I got a lot to tell you. But first, let me jump in the shower and wake up. All right, stay out of sight. And then go relieve Lawrence. <clears throat> Lawrence is coming, hide. So hey, is that you? Yeah, I was coming to get you, sir. Who are you calling to? I uh, thought I saw something in the bathroom. I guess I'm just a little tired. Oh, I heard that. Westlake up? I really didn't see him, sir. Well, it's a lot quieter since those three yahoos turned in. I'll see you in five hours. Good night, sir. I thought you were taking a shower. Huh. Well, water's still hot if you want some instant. I need help. Give me a sec. So, have I caught you yet? This goes no further. Sometimes I have trouble with insomnia. I don't sleep for days. And then I sleep 24, 48 hours. It's out of control. Is that what happened in the Gulf? How long? Since that day in the office. And I'm afraid I'm going to crash and burn any minute. I've got to stay awake, at least until we get out of here. Well, that's four more days. I know. So will you help me? Make yourself some instant. I'll be back in a minute.
You don't look so good, Doc. I don't feel so good. I think I've got some kind of a flu. Figure out. Try to eat something. We can start on the cameras whenever you're ready, Skip. Are you okay? Is something wrong? Don't let her swallow her tongue! Get away, Lake! It's a story. I sedated her. What's wrong with her? I don't know. Maybe once she's rested. She's afraid she's infected with something from Roundtree. I know! Dr. Coates cut herself on one of Roundtree's bones. She's concerned he may have had AIDS or hepatitis. I'm sending blood samples from both of them to Quantico for testing. It's not AIDS she's afraid of. What then? I don't know. Unbelievable. What does the crystal ball say then? We are not going to do this here. You people are all the most undisciplined motherfuckers I have ever seen. So this is what we're going to do. We're all going to sit down, we're going to lock the doors, and we're going to talk. Put every petty little gripe, every wild-ass idea out on the table, every one. And nobody is going to eat, drink, piss, shit, or fuck until everybody knows everything. And we're going to work it out if it takes four days until we can all behave like proper little ladies and gentlemen. I've got 6.55. I want everybody in the dining room at 7.15. Gabriel, wait. Gabriel, Mr. Sinclair, we need to talk. Please, please. Gabriel, please. I don't have time for this now. Tell us all at the meeting. I can't tell everyone. That's the problem. I've already spoken with Skip. Now I need to talk with you and Dr. Enright okay, and Angela. Okay, okay, and... okay, fine. But later, all right? Okay. Angela? Captain Lawrence wants to see you. Angela? Get Lawrence. Angela! This doesn't help, but I'm sorry. I know what she meant to you. She was the first person I met at the academy. I always liked her. Where's Johansson? So, nobody was able to find Johansson. Well, I hope for his sake, he's dead. So, since this is my little party, if you'll all take a seat. I'll go first. Okay? I want some fucking answers! Let's start with what we know. At least two people, possibly three, have been killed by this thing. I thought chupacabras only killed goats and sheep. It isn't a chupacabra. Skip, what? Quiet. You should know. I'm feeling a little irritable, Mr. Stefani, so perhaps you should take a few steps back. What's he talking about? We think the thing on the tape is too big to be a chupacabra. What do you think it is? The Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Fucking with me, Corrales. I, no, I just, we. Look, this doesn't matter. We'll find out what it is when we catch it. Or kill it. Bullshit. Nobody is doing anything. We're all staying right here, where it's safe, for the next four days. We're not safe here, you know. No, listen. Animals only kill for two reasons. A, to eat, 
or B, because they feel threatened. What happened in the shack proves we're very close. She's right. It, it was pretty bold for it to come into our camp. This was an attack. This animal has demonstrated feeding patterns. It eats in secret, away from people. Not like this. So what are you saying? We scared it and now it's fighting back? Chupacabras in the hood? Not scared or hungry. You saw the shack. You saw how it ripped her up. There's blood all over. When it feeds, there's no blood. We pissed it off and it attacked. And it will again. <sighs> what is that? What the hell is that? You don't know what it is? But you know how it thinks? Yes, this is what I do. I know how animals think. Oh, give me a fucking break. I ain't buying a minute of this shit. What does that mean exactly? It means that we are doing exactly what I said. We're going to stay put until they come for us. No, we need to go out and- The end, period! What are you going to do about Dr. Coates? What about Dr. Coates? She's not good. In fact, she's probably getting worse. What, she gonna die? She should probably be in hospital. She lasts another four days? What's wrong with her? I'm not sure. It could be any number of things. Could it be contagious? Sit down. Shut the hell up for once, can't you? She puked blood all over me. And now she's going to die? Skip, calm down, please. Could this be contagious? Can I catch what she has? You need to get us to a hospital right now. Fuck you then, I'll hitchhike. Your ass down, you're not going anywhere. Where are you gonna stop me? Are you next? Are you going to leave them in there all day? They can fucking rot in there for all I care. Are they still out there? Are you sure? Okay, this is what I was trying to tell you earlier. It's Lawrence. What's Lawrence? It. The thing. Lawrence is the thing. The chupacabra. Please, Seth. We've got enough to deal with right now. I think you need some rest. Not now. Especially not now. I need to sit down and think. Listen to me. Angela and Skip helped me bypass the monitoring systems the FBI has on us in this place so that I could get my hands on a secret report that's been suppressed by the NSA. It's in my room. That's why Lawrence killed him. That's why he's going to kill us. He has to protect himself. Protect himself? This report says Lawrence is a chupacabra? Not in so many words. It says that the military, Lawrence, is working with a branch of the government, the FBI, to cover up this whole chupacabra thing. They invented the goat sucker to draw attention away from the UFO landings. To keep important information away from people like me. Seth, even you have to admit this is pretty hard to swallow. Interesting choice of verb. That's what they don't want us to see. These aliens feed on people. They eat us, assimilate our DNA, and then once they look like us, they just kind of mingle. Jeez, I am such an idiot. They introduce a powerful enzyme into their victims. It breaks down their internal organs. That's probably what happened to Dr. Coates. It got in her cut. She's probably liquefying right now. Then they suck it out. Will you please shut up? I'm sorry, but I'm trying to think. Okay. Unless I'm very much mistaken, we found Roundtree's body somewhere in here. What are you doing? Why didn't I think of this before? We've had the answer all along. I just didn't see it. Okay. We don't know what this thing is, but we do know it's a carnivore. So, it should behave like one. Animals that store food like to keep it close to home, which would put the den somewhere in this area. That's assuming it's an animal, but what if it's Lawrence or a thing we've never seen before? I really think we need some more information. More information? And then what, Seth? Honest to God, this is the most half-assed thing I've ever seen. 
I've been in more meetings and briefings and debriefings this week than in my whole life up to this point, and nobody does shit! Hey, why don't we just calm down? I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be in Kenya studying hyenas, doing something useful. Some FBI dick calls my hotel. Not my apartment, my hotel. I'm getting on a plane tomorrow. Then poof, I got no plane, no funding, and a fucking limo at my door. And here I am. Shit. They went to a lot of trouble to get us. They came for me at a lecture. Almost no publicity and I keep my itinerary with me. Mine isn't mysterious. Someone called in a favor. I came. <laughs> Except you were never going to work for the Bureau again. You'd severed all your ties. You'd even stop taking your phone calls. It's not just a job, it's a hobby. Use of psychics on government investigations is a matter of public record. So are personnel files if you know who to ask. The FBI keeps pretty good records. Okay. They obviously wanted us specifically. Why? Well, it's just an assumption based on the report that I got, plus the fact that he didn't hesitate to kill Skip. I think they want to eliminate us and replace us with them. Lawrence? Lawrence is human. I shook hands with him. I, I also picked up the creature, for want of a better word. Well, all right. So maybe the government is just behind it. Doesn't change my theory substantially. He still killed Skip in cold blood. Point. Creature or no, I think he's dangerous. I think we need to come up with a plan. Once we get out, we'll have to move fast. I'll get the report. Nobody's going to believe us without it. Fine, get it. Nobody will believe us anyway. On three. I just needed time to think. I'm sorry about the accommodations. Where is Dr. Westlake? I don't really know. I didn't shoot him, if that's what you're asking. If you're still interested in catching this thing, I'm willing to listen. What about Skip? Well, he isn't going anywhere. There'll be plenty of time to think about that once we get out of here. Are you going to help? No guts, no glory. I'll get the report. Is this what you wanted to talk to me about? It's very interesting. Where did you get it? Angela helped me. That's why they killed her. You're not going to tell Lawrence. You think it's Captain Lawrence? Sinclair doesn't think Lawrence is the thing, but I think he's behind it. It would explain a lot. I understand. And I see no reason why Captain Lawrence should hear of this. At least that's my best guess. We should start looking at first light. Why not now? I'm pretty sure it's nocturnal. It should be asleep during the day. If so, we'll have a better chance. And I want my rifle. Well, that won't do you any good. Doesn't work anymore. Sorry. I'm impressed. There's obviously more to you than meets the eye. You are so close. Ah! What the hell was that? Damn it. Outside. 
It's here. He's right. Where? Where? Give me a gun. No. We need to defend ourselves. Help to get in here. Stick with me. Quiet. Shut up. Doc, please tell me you're armed. Well, I've got Roundtree's gun. Give me a weapon. We only got the two guns. We never found Johansson. I can give you this one. No, you can't. It's very close. Okay. Got to get back into the building. We go to the dining room slowly and quietly. If it comes for us, I want to hear it. Doc, you go first. You, you next. I'll follow up. Go on, go on. That was fun. Shall we all go outside now? Shut the fuck up. We'll need openness if we have to fight. I want tables and chairs in front of this sliding glass door. That's not gonna stop it. No, but we'll hear it better. doesn't trust us. Well, the feeling's mutual. What are they talking about? Plotting your overthrow. What do you care? I don't trust them. Well, if they rush you, you shoot them. You can handle that. Only make sure you get the psychic first. Shut up. You know... This only work if we work together. Mm-hmm. It's all a big waste of time if you can't find it. <sighs> Don't worry. I'll find it, Sayas. I know how animals think. Uh, what if it's a space monster? <laughs> Piece of cake. I'll figure out how it thinks and find it, Sayas. You're the best. <laughs> I am the best. That's why I get the big bucks. But you got a job to do too. Lawrence? I'll stay on top of him, he's harmless. You better. If anything happens, I wanna see it coming. Mm. Good night, Gabriel. Gabriel? Did I ever tell you I had psychic powers? No, you didn't. I predict you want to kiss me. Maybe tomorrow, if you're good. We'll make better time if we split up. Two groups. One to look, one to shoot if need be. <clears throat> I'll take Sinclair. Where? We'll take the main path. You two, go across the field a couple hundred yards till you're just north of this circle, then straight down. We'll meet where we found Roundtree. We may or may not find our monster between here and there. I'm more interested in Spore. Spore. Monster poop. Yeah, we know where it keeps its food. We find where it shits and draw a triangle to find the den. Draw a triangle. That's how it usually works. Well, how will we know this Spore if we find it? I wouldn't worry about it. All the protein this thing eats, you'll smell it before you see it. So, what do we do if there's more than one of these things? Based on what I've seen, I think we're screwed. That's pretty much what I figured. Here, why don't you take this? You're probably better at it than I am anyway.
real bad feeling. Well, that solves that. That's funny. He never even drew this. Never even unbuckled his holster. <laughs> Keep it. Give it to Enright. I'm not comfortable with guns. It doesn't make any sense. He wouldn't have come this far into the woods without a good reason. And if he had a reason, he would have drawn his gun. I think we'd better wait for them. I'm not going to go far. I just wanted to see what was in here. OK, I've seen it. I'm satisfied. Now we can go back. What? Move! Shoot it! You knocked the fucking gun out of my hand! Well, do something! Hey, hey, come on! Come on, get me! Keep it between us! Hey, come on, Chupa! Chupa! Uh huh, come on, baby, we can scare it away! Come on, get me! Oh, shit! Duck! What should I do? Doc, you're in my line of fire. Doc, move, move. Still hungry? Come on, give me a clear shot. Eat this. Move. Are you okay? I wouldn't have minded if you did that a little sooner. You're welcome. Just in case. We're gonna have to make a litter to get this out of here. Doc? Westlake! What? Oh. Okay. Better make two. Any change? Coates is dead. I'm gonna move my stuff in here. Let me know if I can be any help. Lawrence, it didn't need to be this way. We should have killed it right after Roundtree. You know that, don't you? Is that you? Gabriel, I'm here. Where exactly is here? You better take it slow. Are you all right? Do you need anything? I feel really bad. This is Lawrence's office. How did I get here? We dragged you. You're heavier than you look. I can't think straight. I remember flashes. You said we. How much do you remember? It's all blurry. 
I take it we won? Yes and no. We killed the thing, but I don't think we're out of the woods yet. The only thing I know for sure is somebody sabotaged my gun. What the hell are you doing? Well, I think it's pretty obvious what I'm doing. I'm sorry, but I can't let anyone see this. You're destroying evidence. Well, not as quickly as I wanted to. We should have brought stronger chemicals. Stop what you're doing and step out of the cooler. Or what? You'll shoot me? I will if I have to. Oh, Roger. And I've always liked you. Pretty neat, huh? I bet you didn't know I was such a chameleon. Actually, it's just your mind playing tricks on you. Who are you? Oh, Roger, 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 that's not even the right question. Why are you doing this? Believe me, you'll be happier not knowing. Stay here. I gotta check. Wait a minute. It's in the building. At. Shit! What the hell happened? He cracked. He was waving the gun around, raving about Stefani, and he turned it on himself. Do me a favor, Doc. Show me your hands. Where's the gun? I told you what happened. Back off! I've had a shitty day, and I'm not in the mood. Now, where's the gun? He has it. He shot himself. I gave you my gun. Remember? I remember. It didn't work. Seth was right all along. But it wasn't Lawrence. Son of a bitch! Samantha, listen to yourself. And another thing. Why didn't the creature attack you? Because he's one of them. The one in the woods was his mate. <laughs> it's easy enough to prove. All you have to do is give us a blood sample. What he said. It wouldn't do you any good. You're not going to live long enough to do anything with it. What about Seth's report? Not to worry. I've got it. You've got a copy. How did you people survive so long? You are so stupid. You think the government's going to help? <laughs> they know. I work with them. I'm one of them. Where did he go? Impressive, huh? You see, I couldn't be anyone at all. But it's just an illusion. When I get real close, you can see the real me. <gasps> Any questions? Tired of talking? Well, so am I. It's been fun. Hasn't been that much fun, asshole.
Well, was I good? That should be everything. Where's the report? It's in my suitcase. Between that and his laptop, it shouldn't take too long to find out where the report came from. If those people are anything like Seth, I'm sure they'll help us. But you still want to go to the media first? If the whole chupacabra cover-up goes as deep as Seth seemed to believe it does, the only way to keep these people from killing us is to be as public as possible. Then we'll have to put the cooler up front with us. If anything happens to that blood, we don't got a case. So, where to? New York. My boys like the times. Besides, I want to go someplace big before the FBI comes in to clean up this mess. Good point. The shit will hit the fan tomorrow. Gabriel? Yeah? Ever thought of going to Kenya? Decision